congratulations on your purchase of the Bissell Big Green Clean Machine. Bissell has been a leader in carpet care technology for over 100 years. You have made a smart choice. Now, instead of the hassle and expense of three separate machines, the Bissell Big Green Clean Machine provides vacuuming for everyday cleaning, deep cleaning for professional style home cleaning, and wet vacuuming for messy spills and problem cleanups. The following program explains how to set up and use your new machine for all three functions. Deep cleaning setup and use, wet vac setup and use, and dry vac setup and use. You can easily find the information you need by locating the colored section using the search mode on your VCR. Deep cleaning removes the deep down dirt which can damage carpet fibers. Carpet manufacturers recommend deep cleaning, even stain protective products, at least once a year. Always check your carpet before deep cleaning to make sure it's not a dry clean only fabric. The Big Green Clean Machine is self-contained, with both used and unused cleaning solutions stored separately. A tank within a tank. The machine has two basic parts, the power unit and the tank unit. Remove the power unit from the tank and remove all parts stored in the tank. Insert the four casters into the holes on the bottom of the tank. Insert the ball and ball cage inside the machine. Position the ball cage over the ball and press it firmly around the raised circle. Flip the carrying handle down toward the filling cavity and place the power unit on top of the tank. Pull the carrying handle up to lock the two units together. Put the aluminum wand sections together by lining up the latch button on one with the hole on the other. The button pops through the hole to lock them in place. The floor nozzle attaches to the end of the wand section in the same way. Fit the grip trigger into the top of the wand section. The wand solution tube connects to the spray tip on the floor nozzle and the cap valve on the grip trigger. Snap one of the two small wand retaining clips over the wand solution tube at each section of the wand to secure the hose. Next, attach one end of the threaded solution hose to the threaded outlet on the grip trigger. Do not use tools or over tighten. You may damage the fittings. Next, attach one end of the flex hose to the grip trigger. Then attach the other end of the solution hose to the threaded outlet on the power unit. The other end of the flex hose attaches to the flex hose inlet on the power unit. Make sure the latch buttons are locked. While holding both the flex hose and solution hose in place, snap the three large flex hose retaining clips over both hoses at the indentations on the flex hose and snap them together to hold the hoses in place. Pull up the siphon tube assembly located next to the measuring cup. Push the end into the opening on the power unit. You are now ready to begin using your big green clean machine. For deep cleaning, fill the unit with cleaning solution. Remove the measuring cup from the filling cavity. Use a bucket to fill the tank with two gallons of water. Water should come up to the bottom of the three fill lines inside the tank. Next, fill the measuring cup to its fill line with Bissell Carpet Care Solution and empty it into the filling cavity. Replace the filling cup and plug the electrical cord into an approved outlet. We recommend pre-spotting of stains in high traffic areas. This will allow the cleaning solution to begin working on the extra tough areas. There are two switches on the big green clean machine, the pump and the vacuum switch. When pre-spotting, you only need to turn on the pump. To pre-spot, hold the floor nozzle four to six inches above the carpet area. Pull the trigger to release the cleaning solution and spray the solution over the soiled area. Dampen the area with the cleaning solution, making sure not to over soak the carpet. Do this over each area you are pre-spotting. For a particularly tough stain, you may want to use the floor nozzle brush. Place the brush directly on the stain and while spraying the solution, rub back and forth to help loosen the dirt. Lightly scrub the stain. 
It's not necessary to put extreme pressure on the wand to scrub the spot. The chemicals are designed to do the cleaning. If you do use the brush on a stain, it may help to have the vacuum on, as well as the pump, to avoid over-soaking the carpet. After pre-spotting, allow the solution to work on the soiled area for several minutes, depending on the severity of the stains. After this, you are ready to begin cleaning the entire room. Start in the corner opposite the exit from the room. Turn on both the pump and the vacuum. Begin with a portion of the room roughly three by four feet square. Extend the wand arm's length away from you to the farthest edge of the area you are cleaning. Place the floor nozzle on the carpet. Press the trigger to release the cleaning solution and immediately begin pulling the wand toward you. Pulling too fast won't allow proper cleaning, while too slow may soak the carpet. When you've pulled the wand back to you, release the trigger. Then, move the wand next to the section you just completed and repeat this process. Remember to start away from your body and pull toward you rather than pushing the floor nozzle away from you. Be sure to clean the areas you pre-spotted in the same way. It's not necessary to exert pressure on the floor nozzle or wands. Just make sure to maintain a seal between the cleaning head and the carpet to remove the maximum amount of dirt and water. The floor nozzle shoots the cleaning solution into the carpet, churns up the dirt, and then sucks the solution and loose dirt particles back out. When finished with each 3x4 area, the final step should be a drying process using only the vacuum. When no more water is visible through the floor nozzle, move to the next section. Complete the job by continuing this process throughout the whole room. When the tank is empty, the carpet nozzle will no longer spray. The ball will float to the top of the recovery tank and raise the pitch in the motor, signaling that it's time to empty the machine. Be sure to turn off all switches and unplug Big Green Clean Machine. Remove the power unit from the tank unit and empty the dirty water from the recovery tank. When you are finished cleaning, rinse the solution tank. Refill it with a half gallon of clean water and spray the machine briefly to flush out the system. All parts should be rinsed in clean water and dried. It's best to let the carpet air dry. The carpet style, humidity, and air movement in the room will all affect the drying time. Using a fan may speed up drying. A wet carpet will pick up dirt faster than a dry one, so we recommend you allow the carpet to dry as long as possible before walking on it or rearranging furniture. The only difference between deep cleaning and wet vacuuming is that you only use the vacuum switch for wet vacuuming. Wet vacuuming is a vacuum only feature and therefore no cleaning solution is sprayed onto the floor surface. To avoid spraying any leftover liquid from the solution tank, nest the siphon tube assembly in its stored position in the tank unit. Vacuum the area the same way as when deep cleaning using the floor nozzle. Extend the wand away from you and pull toward your body. When finished wet vacuuming, unplug the unit, rinse the recovery tank, ball cage, ball, wands, and tools in clean water, and then dry them off. Replace the ball and ball cage in the recovery tank and store your unit. See your owner's guide for using the sink cleanout tool. To use your big green clean machine as a dry vacuum, you only have to make one change to the ball cage. Cover the ball cage with the vacuum filter bag. Slide the bag over one end of the cage. Make sure the filter covers the lip at the top and bottom of the cage all the way around, but that it does not extend over the edge of the cage. The filter bag is designed to fit snugly. Next. Insert the ball and ball cage into the tank unit. To avoid spraying any leftover liquid from the solution tank, 
nest the siphon tube assembly in its stored position in the tank unit. You have several tool attachments to choose from for dry vacuuming. Fit the appropriate tool over the end of the aluminum wand. Turn on only the vacuum switch and begin vacuuming. To clean your unit after vacuuming, follow these steps. Remove the filter bag from the ball cage. Shake out the excess dirt and empty the dirt from the recovery tank. For more thorough cleaning, you may rinse the filter or wash it in the washing machine and let it air dry. Wipe the recovery tank, ball cage, ball, wands, and tools with a damp cloth. Put the ball and ball cage back into place in the recovery tank after drying. Occasionally, remove the siphon tube assembly from the machine and remove the filter from the end of the tube. Rinse the filter under running water and replace it in the end of the siphon tube assembly. The motor filter located on the underside of the power unit also requires occasional cleaning. Pull it out and rinse it under running water. Squeeze dry and replace it in the power unit. These filters are important because they protect your pump motor from dust and other debris which will extend the life of your machine. After thoroughly cleaning your big green clean machine, you can easily store it for future use. If you have any questions concerning the assembly or use of your new big green clean machine, please call Bissell Customer Service at 1-800-237-7691.